Welcome to this video. Today I just want to talk a little bit about the lentils and pulses that you can eat on the low FODMAP diet. Now we can't eat a lot, but for veg the vegetarians among us, it's really important that we can have some of these because they're a great source of protein and fiber as well. Now we can have quarter of a cup of canned chickpeas. Now they do have to be canned because in the process of the canning, many of the FODMAPs, the FODMAPs by the way in chickpeas are the galacto-oligosaccharides, and many of those come out into the liquid. So if you drain and wash the chickpeas that have been canned, you can have a quarter of a cup. But don't try to have any of the fresh chickpeas because that process won't have happened. Now it's exactly the same thing with the lentils, except you can have half a cup of lentils as long as they're canned. Again, rinse them and drain them, and that gets rid of some, at least, of the FODMAPs in them. So half a cup's a fair amount. So if I were a vegetarian, I would definitely be incorporating that into my diet. If you want to have the fresh lentils, you have to halve that amount. And that means you can only have a quarter of a cup, which is perhaps not quite enough food for you, especially not enough protein. Now do not touch any of the other uh, beans or pulses. They are all high FODMAP with no exceptions. Now the problem with galacto-oligosaccharides is that nearly all of us have a problem with them. And I'm not just talking about people with IBS, but also people without IBS. They don't absorb them well. And that's why we all know about the problem of gassiness with beans. But they don't suffer that much from it. We do. With our oversensitive bowels, we feel all of that extra gas as something terrible, and it can really disturb the function of our bowels. So do stay away from them. If you want to in the reintroduction stage, you can certainly test them. It's not a test that I necessarily do with my clients because I fairly much know what the result is going to be. But that doesn't prevent you, especially if you're a vegetarian, from testing a slightly higher amount than the half a cup of lentils. I hope that's been helpful. Goodbye.